It's April 19th, 2023, and I have a message from the good book that is, of course, a very good message. Today's message is about unity and peace. And this is very important in the Bible. I don't think people realize how important unity and peace is to God. So I'm going to share some scriptures to show you that this really matters to God. It could change the way you are as a person, how you treat others, how you talk about others. So let's look at some scriptures. Corinthians 1.10 says, Let there be no divisions among you. So that's pretty bold and straightforward. No divisions among you. God doesn't want us divided. He doesn't want us separating from one another and not getting along. It's very important that there be no divisions among us. And in the same chapter, going down a few more verses in 113, it says, is Christ divided? That's a question. And of course, the answer to that question is no. The Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are all in perfect harmony. There is no division. And Jesus talks about this also in Matthew 12, 25. He says that a house divided against itself will not stand. So if you want to be standing in life, you can't be divided with a bunch of people. And of course, we see this in our nation, our nation being divided because people don't understand that there can be unity and there can be peace. With God, all things are possible. And we're supposed to beware, it says in Romans 16, 17, beware of those who cause divisions and avoid them. Why? Because you don't want to become like them. Divisive people spread more division. It's like a disease. And we're supposed to bring peace and unity among ourselves. It says in Matthew 5, 9, Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called the children of God. And James 3, 18 says, The fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. And so... We are supposed to bring peace on earth. When Jesus was born, what did they say? Peace on earth, goodwill toward all people. And so if we're going to carry on God's mission, if we're going to carry on the works of Jesus, we need to also bring peace to this earth and goodwill toward all others. If you'll do this, you'll see a blessing come into your life like you've never seen before. Would you say a prayer with me? An opportunity to ask the Lord into your heart and bring a change of heart to be more like him. Just repeat this with me. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive my sins. I turn away from them. Help me to become a peacemaker and be a blessing and make this world and the world to come better than ever. Amen.